joins Cody via Zoom. They're talking more about precision pollination service. Yeah, this is wild. I've got both co-founders here. Um, please, boys, if you would, introduce yourself to the folks at home so I don't butcher your names. Uh, sure. My name is Omer Davidi. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Be Hero. And I'm uh, Itai Kanot. I'm the COO and co-founder of Be Hero. Okay, so before coronavirus, I was telling you guys, this was the problem that really kept me up at night. The devastation that's happening in, in, in our bees hives and everything. Uh, now I've got a whole new set of problems uh, that keep me up. But let's talk about the solution that you guys have come up with. How does this work? Uh, so basically, we've been facing the colony collapse in the last 10 years or so. Uh, and many people are not well familiar with the fact that 70% of everything we eat depends on food. Uh, this is where we combine the expertise of Itai, a second generation commercial beekeeper, and a geek from Israel who is focused on technology to build sensors that can actually help and make beekeeping precise and also pollination. So is it a, does the sensor go inside of the beehive? And then what can we learn from that sensor? Yeah, so basically what we're doing is uh, we're taking our sensor and we're putting it in the heart of the colony. It's uh, the, the middle of the brood chamber. And we collect a few different parameters from, from there, like temperature, humidity, sound. Um, and everything goes to our cloud, goes through machine learning analysis, and then we're able to provide actionable insights uh, to beekeepers and farmers, depending on you know, the type of service that we're providing in that time. Let's talk about farmers real quick. What kind of information and, and how can they use that for their crops uh, are you gonna get from this? So basically farmers in most of the crops utilize bees in the process of pollination. We cannot depend on wild insects anymore in the amount of, of flowers we have and the industrialization of, of farming. Uh, so those farmers rent beehives from beekeepers uh, during the blooming season. And this is done by pretty much rule of thumb because you don't have any way to assess the quality of the hives, the efficiency of the hives, and what would be the best deployment to maximize the number of flowers that you eventually pollinate. Uh, using our sensors, we can actually measure those parameters and work together with the beekeepers and the farmers to make sure that, you know, the welfare of the bees is maintained and also we get full pollination. Itai, tell them the numbers. Tell them the numbers and press them with the yield numbers. Of, of, of how much we can uh, add? Uh -huh. Well, it, it depends on the crop, but we like to say about 30%, which is incredible number. That is an incredible number. That could make such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm, I'm really excited about this, and I'm glad we had a chance to talk about this. But if people want more information, where do they need to go? Uh, so first of all, you're more than welcome to visit us at behero.io, our website. This is where you can contact us, and uh, we will be happy to take this conversa conversation further. Uh, and we also would love to uh, you know, maintain an open channel because we have some very interesting updates along the way. Cool. We'll do it. You'll do it, man. That's really cool. Our uh, our traffic lady, Tina, she's a beekeeper and she's like the queen bee of uh, Sacramento, <laughs> uh, no pun, pun intended. Uh, we'll is. have to hook you guys up. Sure. would like that. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye. Very Bye -bye. cool, Cody. Oh, man. How cool Tina is definitely that? needs to meet those guys. Yeah.